What's up everybody? Want to do a video today showcasing the latest item in the Knockdown City Arsenal, my 2017 Hobie Outback Camo Series Kayak. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Hobie Kayaks. Uh, they don't pay me. I'm not an endor paid endorser or anything. Um, just a fan of their products. Been having a lot of fun with the uh, tandem kayak that I have also. Uh, but I wanted something for me personally to take out that's a little bit easier to get in and out of the truck and, and to maneuver around. So um, so I got the Outback and uh, I had great expectations of this boat and how it was going to perform and uh, it succeeded every one of them. Uh, I'm just having a blast with it. It has not disappointed one bit. Some cool new features on it so I'll go over those real quick and then kind of show you some of the personal touches that I've done to rig it out the way I want to. So uh, let's check it out. Well, the first thing you notice, of course, is the, uh, the graphics on this thing. Uh, the camo, they did a really great job with it. Really cool looking boat. Um, the colors, the way they're done, everything looks really cool. Kind of feel like a Navy SEAL in this thing. Okay, not quite, but uh, you get the point. It really looks very cool, very cool looking boat. Next is the uh, oversized rudder uh, they put on the camo series. It's um, the same size rudder that I have on my tandem, which is two and a half feet longer than this boat and about, I think like 20 to 30, maybe 25 pounds heavier. So as you can imagine on this much smaller boat, uh, it's super responsive with this oversized rudder. I believe Hobie calls it the sailing rudder. Um, it's awesome. Oh yeah, the 180 turbo drive. Uh, we have the turbo fins. Definitely can't tell a difference between these and the uh, standard Hobie Mirage drive fins. They're more rigid and uh, you, can, you can really get moving in this boat. And of course this has the 180 reverse option on it. Pull the green lever to go forward, pull the red lever to go reverse. Uh, it's pretty cool, I got to admit. I wonder how much you would use that. And as much as I get my line tangled in the mangroves, I use it. Trust me. I'll show you how it works. Reverse. Forward. Now for some of the ways I set my boat up for fishing, kind of personalize it for, uh, for my uses. Um, I have a push pole on one side where the uh, paddle would normally go. The reason I chose this particular one, the super stick, because it stores nicely at six foot on the side of the boat, but then you can extend it out to 12 feet and uh, easily stand up in the yak and, and push pole it and cruise around through really skinny water. Uh, seems to be working for me. It's not a stake out pole. I've been using an anchor and now that I have the reverse option I just kind of stick with the push pole and the Mirage drive and so far so good seems to be working. I do keep fish from time to time so uh, I got this Hobie medium sized catch cooler sits really nicely on the bow of the boat uh, put some additional tie downs on either side for the front just bungee it in place and then I just bungee it in front to the tie down that's already there. It's 27 inches long, so it's got plenty of space. It sits up nice and high for most of the fish that I keep. Just haven't uh, got anything that it can't handle yet. But I don't know. Let's see what happens in the future. I have two different GoPro mounts in the boat. Uh, one on the front here that I can kind of articulate around. It's a hodgepodge of different ram mounts. I can move it around like so and turn this. So I've got all different angles from the front. And then I've got a, uh, a setup on the back of the boat too in the crate system, which I'll go over in a couple minutes, which gives you a nice little view uh, looking over to my right shoulder towards the front of the boat. So I can get two different views for now. And uh, always expanding, always trying to think of new things. It's always fun. 
the crate system I use is kind of a combination of some stuff I came up with on my own and some ideas I got from some um, people on YouTube watching their videos of how they set their stuff up so uh, basically I'll show you how it's mounted in the yak and then I'll take it out and go over some uh, some features of the crate itself seems to be working really well for me I got it right behind the seat here as close as I can get to the seat and I basically hook a bungee to this already existing tie down here I run through here through the back of the uh, rod holders around the other side and bungee it to the uh, identical tie down on the opposite side of the boat also I rigged up a little system to kind of doubly secure it behind the seat you have the uh, little strap that holds the seat into the boat and I just ran a S beaner to the crate put a key ring loop on it and I just run it through that strap the seat strap that way it's doubly secure between that and the bungee it's not coming out so pretty happy with that but I'll take it out and uh, kind of go over how I put the crate itself together so the way I've got the crate set up now it's plenty for all my needs um, what I did is I bought two yak gear crates from my local hardware store also bought two sets of or one set of rod holders that have, hold three rods each just screwed holes and mounted them to the side with stainless hardware uh, seen several videos that people have posted on how to how to make a top for your crate and that's to take one crate and just cut the bottom of it off there's plenty of videos out there if, if you if you haven't seen a how-to on how to do this super easy it literally took me 10 minutes maybe uh, took a jigsaw cut the bottom of a crate off drilled holes in the back put some thick tie wraps for hinges I took a uh, standard hobe X one of the extra mounts that came with uh, one of my kayaks the standard tie down drilled two holes and got some 3 16 bungee cord tied knots on the other side so they don't come through the holes took a carabiner lock it right in that tie down and that's plenty to hold it um, when you're sitting in the seat and it's behind you it can be a little cumbersome to get on and off but once you got it locked it's not going anywhere uh, like I said I have the the seat strap goes through there for an extra hold down along with the bungee that goes around the back and this way I've got the three rods I've got a net I've got still got an empty here I can bring another rod or whatever um, I use the uh, Yak Gear Panfish um, GoPro mount with some RAM extensions to, uh, to get a nice over the shoulder shot. I use the thumb screw down in the rod, the, the reel slot there on, on the rod holder and it does a real good job of holding it so it doesn't turn like this and it's pretty stable. I've done some uh, video and looks pretty good. For the most part I mean I think it looks good <laughs> but uh, that's my uh, crate system like I said it seems to be working really well for me oh I bonded some foam see some uh, foam is bonded to the bottom and the reason I did that is because this is pretty deep well storage well on the back of the boat here and it just kind of lifts the kayak or the um, crate up a little higher so I can get to everything easier um, as of now I keep my tackle boxes in the back in the crate here got some leader line a couple tackle boxes some different baits I got an anchor in here I got some sunblock um, the only other thing I'm really gonna modify on the boat is eventually I'm taking that hatch out that's right in front of the seat here and I've got a uh, rectangular pro angler hatch that's going to go 
in that spot right there I just haven't done that modification yet so that's just I guess an opportunity for another video in the future I hope to do that pretty soon I just haven't had time so that's a uh, basic overview of the uh, Outback and how I set it up for me I had a, uh, a cooler soft pack cooler and laying around in the garage it just actually worked out perfect for keeping personal stuff in adult beverages sandwiches that kind of thing uh, it just I re-rigged the bungee back here and it snuggles in right behind the crate matches the boat everything worked out great uh, but that's a basic look at the boat and how I set it up I hope you enjoyed it I hope it's helpful um, check out part two of the video it's a little bit of water action the first time I took it out which was actually a couple weeks ago I uh, just been pressed for time haven't been able to make this video uh, really great footage of me losing a big snook that was awesome because I didn't think about having a reverse on the new boat um, but uh, anyway I've been having a lot of fun with it um, hey man check out the videos uh, by all means, leave comments, uh, critique, tell me what you like about the videos, tell me what you don't like. If I'm doing something stupid, let me know and I'll probably change it. Uh, but by all means, subscribe, leave some comments, and uh, we'll see you guys on the water.